To the bemusement of the rest of the world, the House Oversight Committee in the U.S. Congress held a hearing on UFOs this week, Wednesday, July 26. Two of the witnesses at the hearing, David Fravor and Ryan Graves, are former U.S. Navy pilots who say they have had UFO encounters. Forward-looking infrared videos of these incidents are posted on the Department of Defense website. They discussed how numerous military and civil pilots and radar operators see and track UFOs performing speeds and maneuvers that seem to defy the laws of physics. Skeptics believe such sightings are either misperceptions, sensor anomalies, or involve secret prototype aircraft, missiles or drones. Grush's Testimony The third witness at the hearing, David Grush, is a former intelligence officer who served on the U.S. government's Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force. In testimony reminiscent of the infamous Roswell UFO incident, Grush says the U.S. government has recovered craft and bodies relating to what he calls a non-human intelligence. He undertook to pass specific details about this to congressional representatives with the appropriate security clearances. He said he blew the whistle because programs dealing with this are being run illegally, without proper congressional oversight. Grush went further, talking about unspecified injuries that have befallen UFO witnesses, and threats and retribution against whistleblowers, including himself. Separately, he filed a complaint with the Intelligence Community Inspector General, apparently containing specific details that were frustratingly missing from the hearing, because it was an unclassified session. Key Takeaways Unlike pilot sightings, which are multifactorial, there's no middle ground here, Grush's claims are either true or false. Could he be a disgruntled former employee trying to cause trouble, or involved in a deception operation, either as a willing participant or as an unwilling dupe? If his allegations are true, they would have profound implications for humanity. Congress is trying to verify Grush's claims, a process complicated by the highly classified nature of some UFO information, and by the fact that multiple committees and subcommittees, both in the Senate and the House of Representatives, are investigating. Further congressional hearings are likely. In parallel, NASA is undertaking its own study into UFOs and is expected to report shortly. And U.S. lawmakers are drafting multiple UFO-related provisions for inclusion in next year's defense bill. Whatever the truth about UFOs, there's bipartisan agreement that it's a serious national security issue. Furthermore, the level of official engagement in the U.S. is in stark contrast to the U.K., where the Ministry of Defense terminated UFO investigations in 2009 and say they have no plans to re-engage.